so let us solve another problem on applications of derivatives that is maxima and minima so first let me read the question first find the maximum area of the rectangle that can be formed with fixed perimeter 20 so that means we need to find out the maximum area of rectangle whose perimeter is given that is 20 that is constant so that means first of all let us assume the x and y be the length and breadth of the rectangle as for the given data perimeter is equal to 20 so we can recall the formula that is perimeter of a rectangle is given by 2 times l into plus l plus b 2 times l plus b so that actually here l stands for x b stands for y 2 times x plus y is equal to 20 so after prior simplification we get x plus y is equal to 10 so now y can be expressed in terms of x y is equal to 10 10 minus x we can write it say equation 1 so now in this problem we need to be maximized its area so what is the area of the here rectangle the area of the rectangle can be evaluated using length into breadth so that means x y so here x y need to be maximized so x y means it is in two variables so we have to change in terms of one variable so that means with the help of y value if you replace y is equal 10 minus x we get a, a quadratic polynomial in terms of x so that should be maximized using concepts of differentiation that is nothing but application of the de derivatives so let us solve the problem solution so now this is the rectangle let us say this is x this is y here given perimeter equals to 20 let the length length and breadth of rectangle B X and Y respectively and what is given here perimeter is equal to 20 given so that means the perimeter let us say P of this one is equal to 2 times length into breadth sorry length plus breadth so that means now we can write here perimeter is equal to 20 p is equal to 20 so we can write 2 times x plus y is equal to 20 x plus y equals to 20 divided by 2 we get 10 y is equal to 10 minus x say equation 1 now we need to maximize the area of the rectangle so that means now let us recall the formula for the area of the rectangle so let us say let us consider a stands for area of the rectangle area of the rectangle so that means area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth so that means we have a equals to here l stands for what x b stands for y so x y but a is a function in two variables but we need to change into as a single variable 
so with the help of this y value from 1 y is equal to 10 minus x let us substitute here so we get x into 10 minus x this is 10x minus x square it's a quadratic polynomial in x so now what shall we do we need to find out first differentiation with respect to x after that second differentiation with respect to y we need to find out so for stationary point da by dx is equal to 0 stationary point means for minima or maxima or maxima or minima da by dx should be equated to 0 so as to get the stationary point at the stationary point we have to verify the second derivative test so let us do it now so that means actually here differentiate both sides with respect to x that means dA by dx equals to d by dx of 10x minus x square so this is d by dx of 10x is x differentiation 1 10 into 1 10 minus x square differentiation 2x now differentiate with respect to both sides with respect to x now we get this is d 2 a by d x square second derivative 10 differentiation 0 this is 2 so minus 2 which is less than 0 for maximum or minimum this d a by d x equated to 0 d a by d x equated to 0. So, what do we get it now? This 10 minus 2 x equals to 0. So, 2 x equals to 10 x equals to 5. As we know the x value, we can find out easily y value with the help of equation 1. So, put x is equal to 5 in equation 1 so y is equal to 10 minus x that is 10 minus 5 5 so y equals to 5 now we have to verify the second derivative test here so now d a by d x or d 2 a by d x square at x is equal to 5. So, d 2 a by d x square is constant minus 2 that is always at any point that is less than 0 itself only. So, that means minus 2 is less than 0. Therefore, we say that a is maximum a is maximum that means area is maximum. So, the now the maximum area we have to find out that is a maximum is x y at x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5. At x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 we need to find out the value of x y that is the maximum area of the rectangle. So, substituting x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5, 5 into 5 is equal to 25 square units. So, this is the maximum area of the rectangle. So, maximum area of the rectangle. 25 square units this is the answer